What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So the Miami Heat have won the game three uh, by way of Jimmy Butler's triple double. Very nice. Congratulations to the Miami Heat. But today we're going to be doing a realistic rebuild on the Toronto Raptors. So I'm not going to lie. The Raptors future offseason is about to be very interesting. I would be lying to you if I told you I knew exactly what I was going to do today going into this video because this is going to be tough. We're doing a realistic rebuild and the Raptors future is just definitely up in the air right now. Like they're contenders but like it, are they gonna continue with kyle lowry are they gonna trade him are they gonna try to trade for some more superstar like there's a lot the raptors could do a lot of directions they could go in make sure you like subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into this raptors video sure is that nick nurse will obviously be the head coach going forward so when we look at this staff signing there's not a whole lot we need to worry about here other than uh yeah actually there's not a better trainer so we're actually just gonna keep this staff exactly the same i don't think i'm gonna do too much there and we're gonna go straight to the nba draft and now what i kind of want to do is we have the 29th pick so let's jump in and just get whatever we can get here i mean like they're, they're, obviously we're not going to get a stud here at the end but i guess you never know but with the 29th pick if i look at some offers you now there's some offers obviously out here but i'm not going to take any of them so when i look at the prospects we got tyrese maxi all the way to 29 i think that's actually a steal if i'm not mistaken is he a projected lottery pick if i'm not mistaken he's a 73 overall in this draft class but i'm taking him so uh going into free agency though we all know the raptors have quite a bit of free agents even chris boucher is a free agent uh fred van bleed's a free agent sergi baka is a free agent marcus all is a free agent and uh here's how i feel so obviously the raptors are going to do everything they can to keep fred van bleed there is a chance that he goes somewhere else but i'm going to try to resign him today because i feel like the raptors are going to try to keep him uh, he's like grown in Toronto. He's undrafted and he came to Toronto and Toronto let him be that guy for them. Sergi Baca, there's a chance they could reassign him. Marcus Gasol, I think there's been a, well, there's been a lot of rumors and speculation that he might go back to Spain. So I don't think I'm going to be resigning Mark, Marcus Gasol uh, for the Raptors. But obviously Fred Van Vliet is a huge priority, I feel like, for the Raptors this offseason. So that's definitely something I want to get done. Sergi Baca definitely wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Uh, we definitely don't really have a center right now. And uh, when we look at the shooting guard, Jordan Powell has been uh, very good for them. So I definitely want to keep him at the shooting guard. Kyle Lowry, Toronto Raptors veteran legend, I feel like. He's won a championship with this team already. Obviously with Kawhi being here. But what do the Raptors want to do with this guy? Are they eventually going to trade Kyle Lowry? Or are they just going to leave him there for the rest of his career? Because obviously, like I said, Kyle Lowry's been in Toronto for quite some time now. And he's been great there. Uh, always been decent. And uh, basically, as the Raptors All-Star they've had for quite some time, other than DeMar DeRozan, when they traded him for Kawhi. But is there another move out there they would might be willing to do? I'm not sure. Uh, Serge Ibaka, and they, I feel like the Raptors always sign Hassan Whiteside in this offseason. And I'm not opposed to doing it again, because we really don't have a center right now, to be honest with you. I guess there was some speculation about the Raptors possibly signing Montres Harrell. And you know what? I'm not opposed to that. I'll give him a three-year deal, and that's a nice center we can have. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to sign Montrez. Actually, we're not going to sign Montrez, or it looks like. We don't have enough. Okay, so uh, we are off being able to sign Montrez, so never mind on that. Uh, but I'm going to renounce Ronnie Hollis Jefferson, and then Sergi Baca might be our best center, uh, center we can get right now. So... I'm going to move Fred Van Vliet to the shooting guard. So I have Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet, Norman Powell, OG Nanobi, Pascal Siakam. And we don't really have a center right now. So yeah, our best option is like Chris Boucher and Serge Ibaka. And I think I'm going to have to resign Serge Ibaka. And I definitely want, I, I definitely wouldn't mind getting Chris Boucher back as well. So we're going to sign Serge Ibaka back because I don't really know what else we would do in this situation. So I'm going to offer Boucher a two-year deal as well. We'll get him back. And uh, is there anything else we can really do? So we, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need like a backup point guard or a small forward. Actually, probably a backup point guard at the most. Augustine Trey Burke. Uh, I guess I'll sign Reggie Jackson to be our backup point guard for this season. And that's about all we can do with uh, the money that we have been given. So we're going to have Pascal Siakam, Kyle Lowry, Fran Van Vliet, OG Anobi, Sergi Baca, Chris Boucher, Norman Powell, Terrence Davis, Reggie Jackson. This is about to be our team for the next season. I think I'm definitely not going to be opposed to possibly getting aggressive at the trade deadline, making some kind of trade if need be. Because like I said, the Raptors future is definitely up in the air. Like I feel like there's a chance they could even go out there and maybe like somehow find a way to trade for a guy like Bradley Beal. I'm not saying Bradley Beal, but like I feel like they're going to be aggressive possibly trying to get a superstar here. 
who knows maybe even the raptors don't resign fred van vliet and fred van vliet goes to detroit or something crazy like that i don't know but uh we're just gonna go into this next season uh probably not with a whole lot of expectations we're gonna be good still but uh, I need to make this team even better if we're going to be like championship contenders, right? And we end up going 50 and 32. I really badly wanted to stop at the trade deadline and make some kind of offer. I just didn't really know what to do there. Like, uh, it just, I don't think I could make something happen. So hopefully this offseason will make something happen. But MVP goes to LeBron. Dean MD has rookie of the year. Schroeder's your six man. Kawhi defensive player. John Morant's most approved. And Brad Stevens is your coach of the year. All NBA first team looking pretty nice there. All NBA second team. All NBA third team and all defensive first team, all defensive second team. So we are the third seed in the East. So we're still very much contending here. We had 24 from Siakam, 17 from Fred Van Vliet, 15 from Kyle Lowry, 13 from Norman Powell. So like, yeah, this team is good, but we still need another superstar. And Kyle Lowry is about to be a free agent as well. So I'm kind of wondering what uh, his free agency outlook is going to look like, how much money he's going to be asking for. Uh, I don't, obviously don't want to pay him like over 20 million. I feel like if I could get him for cheaper than that, that'd be awesome. We are playing the Orlando Magic, though. Uh, Fultz, Fournier, Isaac, Aaron Gordon, Vucevic. I feel like we should beat this team, but okay, we do. We beat them in seven. Now we're playing the Cleveland Cavaliers. We have Cole Anthony, Sexton, Porter, K. Love, Drummond, Gasol, Garland, Larry Nance, Osman. It's my current round, and we lose in six to the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's a big yikes. And the Los Angeles Lakers go on to win the championship over the Cavaliers. And now we have a whole nother offseason ahead of us. So I'm going to go ahead and reject these. And uh, we're going to get straight to... Actually, I don't think we're going to have a lottery pick. And yeah, we don't. The Wizards have the number one pick. So it tells me the Wizards sucked this year. So maybe there's a world where we could trade for Bradley Beal. I wouldn't mind that. Because I don't think we're going to have enough money to sign Giannis. Like, there's obviously the Giannis rumors out there. And I just don't think that's going to happen. So uh, yeah, I feel like the best thing we can do here is possibly go to the Wizards and offer some kind of massive trade package for a guy like Bradley Beal and kind of hope we can get him here into Toronto. That would be kind of awesome if we could make something happen there. So Norman Powell accepts. That's awesome. Qualifying offers, Terrence Davis, OG and Obi are both free agents. So what I'm going to do is uh, even the Rockets were selling on James Harden at the trade deadline, but I felt like I probably wasn't going to be able to make a package to get james harden like i might try it still but i don't think i'll be able to make it happen so i'm gonna try to trade for a superstar right now because i assume Giannis is in free agency but i have to free up 36 million and i just don't really want to do that so i'm gonna try to make some kind of crazy trade here see if i can get something done and hopefully we're gonna have a superstar in this offseason we're gonna give two expiring contracts curious boucher tyrese maxi i'm gonna also offer a 2023 pick for Bradley Beal and just like that we got Bradley Beal so I was kind of hinting at Bradley Beal earlier it kind of fits the timeline of the roster as well so you have Fred Van Vliet step back into that six-man role we want to sign Fred Van Vliet or re-sign Kyle Lowry with our uh trade or our uh bird rights and then we'll have Reggie Jackson so yeah we just gave up a lot of our depth but we have Ojinobi who's a free agent Terrence Davis so we'll bring those guys back and uh I think we'll be we'll, we'll be just fine Siakam's still here obviously we want to resign Kyle Lowry. We, ooh, he wants 31 million. That's quite a bit, but I don't think I can afford to lose Kyle Lowry in free agency for the team I'm trying to build here. So Kyle Lowry will be back. OG and Obi wants a big contract as well. I don't mind. I'm going to offer Kyle Lowry that big contract, probably under two years. I don't think I really want to give him like a big deal. I'm going to offer Terrence Davis that deal as well. And we're going to sign Kyle Lowry and Terrence Davis. Be happy about that. And uh, we'll welcome them back with open arms. So now we'll have Bradley Beal. OG Nobi wants a big contract. I don't know if I really want to give that to him. That's quite a lot to give. And we don't really have a center right now after I just traded Boucher and Serge Ibaka. So we're definitely gonna have to make something, uh, you know, change something about that. I guess I could trade Fred Van Vliet, but I'd rather keep him if I can. I just don't know if uh, I'm gonna be able to get a good center. Like Clay Thompson's being offered to me. Obviously, that's not something I feel like would happen though in real life. So. Uh, there's Kelly Olenek. There's, yeah, there's not a whole lot of good center options out here. But Kelly Olenek might be my best bet. And I think I still somehow, some way want to make like a trade for a better center because I don't love the center position right now, obviously. So I'm going to try to kind of look for a center that could bridge the gap for at least for now. And uh, hopefully it can be A-OK -okay this offseason. And now there wasn't really an opportunity to trade for a better center. But we have Kyle Lowry, Bradley Beal, OG Nobi, Siakam, Kelly Olenek, Fred Van Vliet off the bench. That's awesome. There's Davis, Boban, and Reggie Jackson. So yeah, the center spot's not that great right now. Maybe Dewan Hernandez could be that guy. Like maybe he could develop out of nowhere like Pascal Siakam did for the Raptors and we would just be fine. 
Uh, maybe I should throw him in there. Hope he does okay. But I guess for now, we have Kelly Olenek starting, which is, I guess, fine for now. But yeah, definitely would love to find a better center if possible by the trade deadline. I'll let you guys know if I do that. But for now, let's see how we do in season number two. Pops up in the trade finder. We also get Robert Williams out of this. So yeah, we're doing this 1,000%. We're actually 25 and 27 right now, which is actually quite surprising considering the roster I just kind of built. I thought we'd be pretty good this season but for right now we're actually disappointing which kind of is a little unfortunate and obviously Boban we don't need both those guys getting minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and take Boban out of the rotation and yeah let's roll with it uh let's keep rolling so now we got Taco Fall at least a better center than we had before at the very least so hopefully we can still make the playoffs 25 and 27 is super disappointing right now for the roster we just built but hopefully it gets better 44 so that's definitely a step back from where we were which is really disappointing because i felt like we kind of put this team together with bradley beal coming in i thought it would be really good but that just didn't turn out to be the way it was i don't know what happened even taco fall gave us decent center play i feel like trading form at the trade deadline maybe the bench needs to be better but uh you know what it is what it is we're playing the cleveland cavaliers here i don't know if we pull off an upset here and no we lose in six so not very good so we got one more season to get this right so let me try my best to make this the best we can be so draft lottery time uh we're not gonna have a lottery pick i think i do want to resign nick nurse i don't care that we just you know sucked that last season i feel like this team is where we want it to be so bradley beal siak and fred van Bleek, kyle lowry that's all awesome uh they took or we have Devin asku as well coming from the g or from uh uh what am I the draft is what I'm trying to say which you know Raptors are pretty good developing players so I feel like he could be good for us Robert Williams is a free agent Matt Thomas to Juan Hernandez so I definitely want Taco Fall turns Davis and Robert Williams all back that would be fantastic and then we need better we need better you know we we need a lot of better things and Terrence Davis is a free agent OG Nobi so Terrence Davis I definitely would love to have him back ask who's gonna be our backup point guard we don't really need Terrence Davis back I guess so maybe we could let him walk Brad and Bill Fred Bleet is fantastic really not a center or small forward right now so that's something we definitely need to focus on so we look at the centers out here yeah our best shot is probably just getting taco fall and robert williams back and we'll roll with that uh but oj Nobi wants a big contract uh what else do we need we need oj Nobi back and a backup forward so let's go look for a backup forward so joe harris off the bench or ryan brokoff would be awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and offer them contracts i guess og and Nobi is um actually i might have to give him this contract extension bro i don't really want to but i don't really have a choice unless if i want to lose him so yeah that i don't love giving that kind of money to yeah i didn't like that at all but hey we could resign terrence davis and do a sign in trade kind of thing with this guy and that might give us a better center actually so i'm gonna resign robert williams as well and we're gonna flip robert williams and terrence davis for a better center right now and hopefully we get a really good center out of this so uh let's see marcus morris okay not seeing a lot of good offers for a center so let me try to make something happen here get a better center other than taco fall so i just gonna roll with this roster again kyle lowry Bradley Beal, og siakam taco fall fred van vliet terrence davis robert williams and ryan brokoff so i don't see how this team doesn't win or isn't better than it was last year i really hope we don't get freaking cucked again and we absolutely suck Hopefully, we're a 51 team, a very top four team in the East. I don't see why we wouldn't be, but this 2K simulation wasn't great to me last year. So, absolutely awesome compared to last year, obviously. And we are the second seed in the Eastern Conference. So, I'll definitely take that. Player stats, 25, 24, 15, 14, 13, 12, 7, 5, and 4. So, hopefully, we can go into these playoffs, make something happen here. Let's even beat the Atlanta Hawk. And we get swept. Okay, that's awesome. But, hey that's fine let's go ahead and assimilate these playoffs and the cleveland cavaliers going to win the championship so yeah obviously you can tell this is super realistic because the cavaliers are winning so yeah this is the roster we put together i really like it uh definitely very excited very optimistic about the raptors future i think they have a lot of options in the offseason uh if you're a raptors fan watching this let me know what you guys would like to see other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already but this crush wolves i'm saying peace